Good stand-up. Lovely tackle. Now look at the pace of him going. That's exactly what you need. Gets past one. Lovely ball in. We are looking at team of the week, Fring Pong, and I think we finally have the best at five at the back, right back slash right mid you can have at the moment. He is five foot seven, high medium, three star, three star, explosive, right footed, can play right back, right mid, right wing back, and right wing, which is fantastic for objectives. Look at his acceleration and sprint speed, 97, 93. Unbelievably good agility, balance, composure, and dribbling. Good short pass, not the best long pass, which is annoying. Defensive stats are okay. I'm not going to go hype them up and say they're amazing. They are okay. But I do think he's one of these cards that will just be very, very broken in game. And there is his physicality. He's there. Now, if we look at play styles, we haven't got anything too crazy. We've got rapid, flare, and quick step. So basically, he's like the super sub of dreams if you're going to play four at the back. Or if you want to bring somebody on to sort of see out a game and play him up front, he's going to be very, very good for that. Now, we went for an anchor today. And the main reason if we jump over the foot bin is to really maximize that pace as well as the physicality and, of course, boost the defending. I know people are going to suggest Shadow, I think, is a race. He's only going to get plus six on sprint speed, which you're not going to notice. And he's going to get 12 on slide tackle and plus four on interceptions. But let's boost up his jump in, his strength and his aggression, as well as his stand tackle, etc. And you can see here, Keatsman is an 85 rated right back, an 84 right mid. We're going to be playing in a four back today. I do like to play with attacking right mid and left backs when I need to. And I think Fring Pond is going to be fantastic for that. Now, if you've done the objective of having Palacios in your team. You've already got a very good link there because they play for the same team. But if not, you should have a few icons in your team now. But that being said, let's just go jump into some gameplay and see how Fring Pong does for us today. Stop right there with the introduction of kits, tokens, and now evolutions needed FC points or coins to complete them. There is no better time than to head over to IGDM.com Get yourself some coins, very, very cheap, fast and reliable. Use discount code NANIC at the store and get 5% off. The link will be in the description. So here's our opponent's team, nice strong team today. We are playing in our 4-2-3-1 and I actually do tell my right back, which is normally Carl Walker, to push up and attack. So Frimpong's completely suited for my style of play and how I work my 4-2-3-1 formation. Now, what I'm expecting from him is not necessarily dominating in defense. I'm not really expecting him to be able to push players off the ball or win headers. If he does, it's a bonus. But his main job is how broken this game is. He tried to cut back there. Is basically counter-attack and use his pace. So we get him on the ball now. He's absolutely lightning fast. Little layoff. He's absolutely marked the pass. We still get it anyway. Look at him go past Blanc. Got to pass it back post. Can we find it? It's a great ball. Look at that for a ball. And I could not be Kevin De Bruyne to smash that. But that is going to be his job, essentially, when we're not defending and how quick he can recover. So you can see him at the bottom of the pitch there. As we block that counter-attack. So we switch it over. Frank Pong on a little bit of pressure. Can he win a header? Easy header to win. So again, looking very, very good in terms of what we're expecting from him. Fring Pong on the ball. Just want to test out his left stick dribbling. Now he's got really high agility and balance. Means he's going to be fantastic for turns just like that. Against Neymar. See one way and then use that pace to go down another. And you can just see how quick he is. Getting away from Blanc. The little cutback. And we haven't got the shot off there, which is a shame. We find Fring Pong again. Goal, cross goal. And a green time off the post. So if you can green time your shots, they are going to go in sometimes. Don't expect him to score. I know it's a little bit ratty doing the cutback. But a lot of you are going to be wanting to see that, let's be honest. So far, very impressed. We're probably going to get a rage quit as well. So we will probably jump into a second game if he does go. But Fring Pong's main job is basically what you just saw there. To do those types of attacks as he has gone. And really get in behind the lines. Let's go jump into a second game. So into our second game then. And the guy's using the brand new formation with that five at the back. We're against two players as well. And we're just going to test Fring Pong in a more of a situation when there are decent runners. And playing against a five at the back. Which he should be suited to play against. And we're just going to see how we get on. So far, I've been impressed by his attacking ability and how quick he feels on the left stick. Haven't really tested him out in a defensive presence just yet. So we can see here, they're going to switch it like that. It's not a problem. Up against Hansen. It's a bit bad defender from me there. I need to see his recovery speed here. Right, again, Fring Pong. Little play out. Now we've got him on the run because of the high attack and work rates. He's still going in between the middle here. Use him as a dummy run. Good touch in. And this is what I don't mind is he can come in if you need him to because of the high agility and balance and the good short pass. Now we play it out wide again to Fring Pong. Drills it in to Volaire. Back to Kevin De Bruyne. Fring Pong with a lovely dribble to get out of the situation. Got about five around him. Can't quite get the cross off. Now let's see his recovery speed if we drag somebody over. You can see he's already ran back into position. And that's what you need players to do that are going to be overlapping. 
is the ability to use their speed to catch back up and be able to track back. Ring Pong, lovely interception, good control. Bit of skill to get out of the situation. Good. Oh, his dribbling is fantastic. If you like to dribble out of situations, he's going to be right up there for it. Got him on the overlap at the top. We find him. Lovely ball down. Fring Pong on the overlap. Touch in. Ah, oh, it's a good cross, but not the best. I didn't think I was going to win that header either, I will be honest. Brian Fring Pong here to Lampard. Brian Fring Pong here. He's got a better situation. He's going to go out wide. Good stand up. Lovely tackle. Now look at the pace of him going. That's exactly what you need. Gets past one. Lovely ball in. And a great save from a goalkeeper. But you saw that he won the tackle, instantly sprinted up the other end, got a lovely pass in, used some skill to get past the slide tackle. And we are mega unlucky not to have a goal there, but we may get it there. We don't have a good defence. Bear in mind we're playing five at the back. That's what you need a really pacey right back or left back to do or full back in general. He's switching it to the other side now. He don't want to go against Fringpong because he knows the counter-attack's on. And Fringpong making that run. Bit of a harder pass. Do find him. Lovely control again. Gets away from Militao, using that pace now. Get a bit out of muscle there. And that was my worry about him being out strengthened there. Ping Pong here has been caught out with the through balls. Good size up, good recovery. Good on the jockey speed as well. Forcing that pass and an easy header. And that's just because they can't get past Fring Pong at all. Good touch in. But that through ball nearly, 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 nearly. A pass. Great tackle. Look at that for a B tackle. Now we've got the counter attack. Son. Oh, just over. Again, Fring Pong initiating that attack by the defence. Sometimes your best form of attack is defence, and that's coming through very strong at the moment. We'll have a look at Fring Pong set pieces. I can't imagine he's going to be amazing at them, but you never know. I probably has got a red card as well. Yeah, so he's not the best. <laughs> 57, 49, 80, and 42 penalty. So he won't take him with Fring Pong, but I do see him on the edge here. Will the game let me do it? As that's going to be half time, never mind. So, so far, very, very impressed. Like I said, he's not going to be the strongest. He's not going to be the most offensive. But if you can time your tackles perfectly, and he will basically win that ball and encounter what I'm liking so much is his pace, his electric pace. See here, 14 out of 17 dribbles complete. He's had 12 passes out of 16 complete. A lot of them are through balls. You should have had an assist as well. 100% tackle rate, one interception. Three out of five defensive duels won. So he's not doing a terrible job as a right back, even though he should possibly be more of a right mid. And so far, so good. Let's go jump into the second half. So second half underway. Let's see how we get on. And Fring Pong now pushing down. They have got a player missing at the left back, so they've switched back to a four at the back now, not a five at the back. Good dribble in. Good dribble get out of the situation. Now we can drive forward. Use was a dummy run. No problem. Back to Fring Pong. Great pass in. Oh, it went to Kevin De Bruyne instead of Volaire there. I was clean through. Been caught out here. Frank Pong one-on-one -on -one against Butellas. Been caught out now needing to come up, catch up. Frank Pong here and a great tackle there. Now we've got the counter-attack and a lovely through ball into the counter. And Son's decided to pass it to the complete wrong person. But you can see there just the recovery of him opening up the space for us. Pushing it for is a dummy run. So we get that pass in. Fring Pong here. Lovely ball into Kev. Kev into Voller. Lovely touch and off the post. We get the rebound and it's a terrible goal. Fring Pong being the main driver of the build up again for us. And we've got ourselves a two goal lead here. Really maximizing the possibility of going down that right hand side because of the red card that we're playing against, which helps. What happens is here we can get the ball to Son. And then he's got Fring Pong who's wide open now with so much space. Across the back post. Oh, very unlucky. Back to Fring Pong, though. Lovely drive in. Dribble around the keeper. Try to get a penalty. I can't even didn't get it. Again, good tackle. Fring Pong on the ball. Voller. And a lovely assist as well. I do think we've seen enough gameplay. Let's go jump over to Footbin now. Talk about Kemp Styles Prize and much more. So just before we go to Footbin, I just wanted to go to Concepts quickly and show you that Fring Pong's classed as a right mid, but if you were to compare him to any other right back or right back plus from the Bundesliga, we've only got that Sadia, and then after that, there's literally nobody else. So I do think he's probably the best choice to go for if you're looking for a Bundesliga right back. Now, we jump over to Footbin once I move my camera back. We can see here, he's about 140,000 coins. I have no idea if his price is going to hold or not. 
We'll have to see. He seems to be stuck around 140 to 150k max. Now, I really liked him. Do I think he's the best defender in the game? Definitely not. But with this anchor, you really are maximizing that jump in strength, agility, as well as the defending stats, and obviously topping up that pace as well. Now, he is a lightning fast when it comes to the left stick dribble, the ability to tackle and drive straight out and transition and attack, which you saw. And as an attacking defensive midfielder or an attacking, sorry, what I meant by that as a box-to-box -box midfielder, or an attacking right back, he is absolutely out of this world. If you're looking for someone, especially if you're one of these people that play five at a bat or you like to attack with your right back in a four back, he's got to be up there as your number one choice. He is so, so quick. Yes, his passing is inconsistent when you go for long balls, but short passing like little one twos in the short space, fantastic cat. And if you can green time your shots, you're going to have enough possibility to score like we did today. Very, very lucky. I don't really tend to score with my right backs. So we got a bit lucky with that in a sense. But what you saw is how I normally play. I think he is one of the best attacking right backs in the game at this minute in time. But as always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, press that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.